Hey everyone, welcome back, Nathan here. Recently, Augment Co. just wrapped up their Summer 2025 launch week where they rolled out a bunch of interesting new features and updates. So in this video, I'll walk you through what's new to help you get the most out of Augment Code. If you're new to Augment Code, I've covered how to get started with it in my previous videos, so if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. First up is the task list, which enables agents to create, execute, and report on multi-step workflows. By using task list, the AI agent will break down complex tasks into step-by-step -step smaller tasks that can be tracked and executed reliably. You can see, edit, and even stop the agent in real time. And instead of tossing a giant prompt at an AI and hoping for the best, each step is stored as an interactive data with clear start, in progress, and done status. With task list, you will no longer left wondering what the agent is doing, whether it gets stuck in a difficult task or what's the next step. In practice, the agent will spin up a task list automatically when it decides the prompt is complex enough, or you can kick one off yourself by telling it to create a task list. Here are some use cases for the task list. It automated code reviews that check every criterion systematically, as well as working on a ticket, where the agent breaks a JIRA or linear ticket into tasks, executes them one by one, and posts progress back to the ticket. Let's see how it works next. I already have Augment code installed in VS Code over here, and we can see the task list icon above the chat box there, where I can switch between task list and change it files. So let's try it out. I will ask Ockman to build the calendar page with these features, a month, week, day, and agenda list views, quick add for events, tasks, or follow-ups, and drag and drop rescheduling. Now for context, here we have a CRM dashboard front end code used to track customers, deals, and pipelines for a SaaS company. We have several menus on the sidebar here, but some are still in progress, such as the calendar page here. So so that's what we're going to create with Augman. Send the prompt in and let's wait for a response from Augman. It will start by scanning the current project as usual. And then after a while, we can see here how the agent starts by creating a task list. Let's wait a moment. And here we have the task list. Uh, let's look at it in more detail. It breaks down the features we want to add into a step-by-step -step plan. The first is to add calendar-related types and interfaces, install dependencies, implement quick add functionality, add sample data, and so on. Now, Augment will work on the tasks step by step, and here we can see the first task is in progress, and when it's done, there will be a check mark before the task name, and it will continue to the second task. This will take a while, so I will skip a bit to the result. Okay, so now Augment Curse has finished all the tasks, and we can see all of them are completed without any issue. We can also see new components on the file explorer here, and we can try out the new page in localhost already. Here's the calendar view, we have monthly, weekly, daily, and agenda views. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I will not test this UI in more details for now, as we're only here to test the task list feature. Next, Augment Code also upgraded the context engine with what's called context compression or context lineage. Basically, Augment Context Engine now scans your Git comments and divs and add it as a part of the context. Why does Augment Code do that? Well, because sometimes in a specific situation, they need to find information about your project that's buried in months of commit history. You can see the reasoning given by Augment Code here. Often, when the agent is trying to do something, something similar has been done before. We want to learn from that thing that was done before and adapt it to a new situation. With context lineage, Augment Code now indexes recent commits, summarizes divs with AI, and retrieves relevant commits on demand. When context lineage is used, you will see this Augment Code retrieving from commit history status. Now let's try it out. I will create a new conversation first, and then I will ask Augment Code to look at the comment history and tell me how is the pipeline management component implemented. Uh, for context, the pipeline management component was added previously as the interface for the pipeline page. We have the component right here in the project. Okay, let's submit this prompt. Let Augment Code work on the request again. And here we can see that Augment is retrieving from comment history. Uh, let me enlarge the chat box here. And after retrieving the context, it will continue searching for relevant information before reporting back to us. And then here's the result. We can see here how Augment Code can retrieve the exact comment where the component was added, as well as describing the details of that component by looking at the comment history. 
So yeah, that's how the context compression feature works. You can see more details in the blog post about it. Up next, there is the easy MCP upgrade, which allows you to install MCP servers in just one click. There is also native integration with Sentry and Stripe included in this upgrade, which is quite awesome. ECMCP is basically a user interface that allows you to easily add MCP servers to Augment code. To see this interface, you simply open Augment chat window, and then click on the settings icon on the top right, select settings, and then select tools. Uh, let me close the sidebar first. Here we can see the services that are natively integrated with Augment code, and below that we have the easy MCP interface. Augment only provides the most used MCP servers for software development over here. For example, we have Redis, MongoDB, CircleCI, and so on. To install the MCP, you just need to click on the plus button, for example, let's install play right here, which is used for browser automation and testing, and just like that, the MCP is now active. It will take a while to load all the MCP tools, and then here it is, after it's loaded, we can see all the tools over here. If you want to add an MCP server that's not listed here, then you can do so by pressing the add MCP button. Then you can just put the name and command for the MCP server over here. For example, suppose I want to add the magic UI MCP. If you're not familiar, magic UI is a UI library that can be used with React. It has an official MCP published for everyone to use. Here's the manual MCP command, so I can just copy this. And then back in Augment ECMCP UI, type in the name, and then the command over here. Once done, click Add. And after a while, the MCP will be active and all the tools will be available over here. Now if you want to disable an MCP, you can easily toggle this switch. I will disable Magic UI for now because I'm not using it for this project. I will use just Tailwind CSS for now. Okay, let's try out the MCP we just added. Back in Augment, I will ask it to use Playwright MCP to test the calendar features on this app. Let Augment process the request for a while. Hmm, it seems tries to create a Playwright test instead of using the MCP, uh, so let me try to nudge it. I will just say use Playwright MCP to open the browser and navigate to the calendar page. And there we go, now it uses the Playwright MCP server to control the browser. After opening the app in localhost, it tries to navigate around, opening the calendar page and then pressing the buttons there, trying to interact with the features in this page. Here it's clicking on the agenda view, and after that it tries to click the today button. And yeah, so that's how you use the easy MCP feature from Augment Code. Last but not least, Augment Code now has its very own agentic terminal called AugCLI. It's a powerful CLI tool that has all the features of Augment Code, such as comprehensive code base indexing, native integration, MCP servers, and many more. It also includes features that you would expect from an AI powered terminal, such as custom slash commands, IDE integration, and GitHub workflow automation. I have covered the CLI in a separate video, so if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. But in short, Augie CLI is very useful if you want more control over Augment agents or if you want to integrate it to a remote server. And that brings us to the end of this video. So, what do you think about the Augment code updates? I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.